Now in part C, we've got to find a matrix T that represents an enlargement scale factor 8, center 0, 0, followed by a reflection in the x-axis. And in the earlier parts of this question, A and B, we found the matrix that represented the enlargement and the matrix that represented the reflection in the x-axis. So to do C, we've got to be careful when we need to find T because we're doing the enlargement first. So if I was to put 8, 0, 0, 8 down as that matrix, it would be this that would be operating on uh, another shape. Okay, so that matrix for the shape would go there. And once you've done that transformation, you would then go on to do the reflection. So the reflection matrix goes at the front here. So hope that's understood, okay? Very important then to get it that way around. We're doing the enlargement first, but it goes on the end here because it's operating on a shape. And once you've got that answer, you would then do the reflection on that resulting shape. So, all we need to do then is just multiply this out. In the usual way, it's going to be rows times column. So, it would be 1 naught times 8 zero. So, that will give you 8 there, 1 times 8 plus naught times naught. If we do 1 naught times 0, 8 now, it would be 1 times naught is naught plus naught times 8 is naught. Now, we do naught minus 1 times 8, 0. So, it would be naught times 8 is naught and minus 1 times naught is naught, so you get that one down there. And finally, this row then times this column, naught times naught is naught, and minus 1 times 8 is minus 8. Add those two together and you get minus 8. So there's your matrix T. Okay.